Bows make beautiful accents for any card project, and adding one to the corner of your card makes the card as pretty as a wrapped up gift. Let me show you the tools and products you're going to need to do this project. First, you're going to need some ribbon, and I'm using the Gina K Designs Gold Lined Ribbon in White. And then you're going to need some sharp scissors. Then you're also going to need a bow easy, and that's to create a double looped bow. Now, if you're good at creating bows without the bow easy, that's great, but I'm not, so I'm going to show you how I use the bow easy for this. You're going to need some glue dots to apply the bow to your card project. You're going to need some white cardstock, and I'm using the Gina K Designs Pure Luxury 120 pound white cardstock. You're going to need some rubber stamps, and I'm using three of the rubber stamps from the new Winter Wonderland Stamp TV kit. And then I'm going to use some Memento black ink, and I have a black card base ready to go. I'm going to begin by stamping a greeting on the bottom of a piece of Gina K Designs Pure Luxury white card stock. And the way this greeting is set up, it's got a long line on it. And the block that I'm using also has grid lines. So what I've done is I've lined the line on the stamp up with one of the lines on the grid block, which will make it a little bit easier for me to stamp it very straight. Okay, so I'm going to start by inking my stamp up with some black memento ink. And then I'm going to stamp that greeting right at the bottom of this piece of cardstock. Now you can see I've lined it up very well. It's nice and straight. My next step is to take one of the Christmas trees or one of the pine trees from the Winter Wonderland Stamp TV kit and I want to show you a little trick. You can see here on the bottom of the tree that it's cut straight across. Now when you get our stamps this new stamp set is all pre-cut for you and it's a little bit rounded at the bottom just like this one. But what I've done is I've taken a pair of scissors and I've cut right along the bottom of the image so it's nice and flat and this way I can line that up really easily up against that line. I've also done that for the smaller tree. It's just one little snip but it does help you get the trees exactly where you want them. So I'm going to ink up this stamp and then I'm going to stamp that right toward the bottom of that line. There we go. Now I'm going to remove this one and put the smaller tree on. And again, I'm using a block here that has a grid line. I don't know if you can see that. If I hold it up against the white there, you can probably see that better. There are grid line blocks here. So I'm positioning the bottom of the tree and the top of the tree right on one of the grid lines. This way I know that the tree is going to be straight up and down. Let me move that just a little bit. There we go. So as long as this line is straight when I stamp it, I know my tree is going to be straight. And I'm going to ink up this tree and stamp it right next to the other one. There. So now I have my two trees side by side on top of my greeting. Now I'm going to add an embellishment, my ribbon. So I'm going to start by cutting a piece of ribbon that I can wrap just around the corner of that piece of cardstock. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to line it up where I want it and then I'm going to turn the piece of cardstock over. Then using a little bit of tape, I'm going to tape there and I'm going to tape there and then I'm going to fold that over onto the tape. Like that. So now, and you can always undo it like I'm going to do here and reposition it once you turn it over so you can really see that it's straight, it's the way you want it. Now I'm going to tape this entire card onto my card base. So I'm going to add a little bit more tape here. 
I'm going to add a little bit onto the ribbon to keep that flat. And then I'm going to position that right onto my card base. So now there I have my corner ribbon all positioned and of course you can't see it on the inside because I've tucked it underneath the front layer. Now I'm going to make my double looped bow using the bow easy. I'm going to use this end of the bow easy and that's the one that is right above the word bow easy. And I've trimmed one end of my ribbon to be a very sharp point because that's going to make it very easy to feed through the hole and you'll see what I mean in a minute. So to begin, you're going to leave a little bit of a tail and you're going to hold on to the ribbon and wrap it around the bow easy two whole times. Now once you've done that, just kind of scrunch it together a little bit to make an opening there. And that is the hole that you're going to feed this piece of ribbon through, this end. And then you're going to grab it on the other side. So now you can see how that looks and then on the other side you've grabbed it and then you're gonna bring it up in between like that and feed it through that hole and then pull and pull it nice and tight like that and now you can slip that off of the bow easy and you have a perfect double looped bow and then you can trim the two tails. There's one. And there is the other. And then you just have to play with it a little bit to poof it up and spread out the, the double loops. Now I'm going to add this embellishment to my card. And I'm going to do that using some glue dots. One glue dot will be perfectly strong enough to hold this bow on. So I'm just going to pop the glue dot onto the back of the bow and then press it right onto the card where I want it. And then you can finagle that bow a little bit there so that it's just the way you want it. And there's my finished card. Adding another piece of ribbon to the bottom corner without the bow is another fun way to create an accent. And try adding bows to the corners of your scrapbook pages for a fun way to embellish your memories.